each and everyone. I am Kimberly S. Salas and today I am going to show you my own pedigree chart that I make using only one trait commonly present in my family. Then afterwards, I am going to explain my pedigree chart in which I only use one trait commonly present in my family which is the curly hair trait or kulot na buhok in Tagalog. So, here is my pedigree chart. A pedigree chart is similar to a family tree, but a pedigree chart shows how a trait is passed from generation to generation within a family. Before I explain how the curly hair trait passed from generation to generation within my family, I will discuss first the key in understanding the symbols in my pedigree chart. So first, affected means that the male or female within my family possesses the curly hair trait. Well, on the other hand, unaffected means the opposite, that the male or female within my family do not possesses the curly hair trait. So, the first symbol is a square with an orange color, which symbolizes an affected male. Well, on the other hand, a circle with an orange color symbolizes an affected female. However, a circle with an orange color and with a cross out symbol at the center, just like this, it symbolizes a deceased affected female. Apart from that, a square with a light green color symbolizes an unaffected male, while a circle with a light green color symbolizes an unaffected female. So, this side are my mother's family, while this side are my father's family. Starting from the first generation, which are my grandparents, this is my grandfather and my grandmother on my mother's side, in which my grandfather is unaffected, while my grandmother is affected, or in other words, she possesses the curly hair trait. However, both of my grandfather and grandmother on my father's side do not possess the curly hair trait or unaffected. So, let's proceed to the second generation which consists of my uncles and aunts as well as my parents. These are my uncles and aunts from my mother's side. My mother has four siblings, one male and three females, in which as we can see, all my mother's siblings, as well as my mother, are affected or possesses the curly hair trait. Only my uncles, which are my aunt's husband, are not affected with the trait. However, these are my uncles and aunts from my father's side. My father has two siblings one male and one female in which as we can see all my father's siblings as well as my father are unaffected or do not possesses the curly hair trait only my aunt which is my uncle's wife is affected with the trait so moving forward to the third generation which consists of all my cousins as well as me and my siblings. These are my uncles and aunts' children, or my cousins from my mother's side, in which, as we can see, these four cousins of mine are all affected with the curly hair trait, which are two females and two males. However, these three cousins of mine from my other uncle and aunt, one female is unaffected with the trait, 
while the rest to males possesses the curly hair trait. On the other hand, these are my cousins from my father's side, in which, as we can see, two males are affected with the curly hair trait. And last but not the least, this is me and my sisters, in which, as we can see, me and one of my sister are affected with the trait, while my youngest sister do not possesses the curly hair trait. So that's all everyone, and I hope you all understand my explanation. Thank you for listening.